Hey everyone, Craig Ball here. Hope you're going well today. The thing I'm going to talk to you about today is self-compassion. Now, why would you want to know about self-compassion, I hear you ask? Well, it's a bit of a uh, conundrum we find ourselves in. We think in order to be more resilient and to be tougher in life, to have mental toughness and resilience, we need to be tougher on ourselves. I mean, it appears obvious, doesn't it? Just go a bit harder, push that bit harder, get that bit more out of yourself. However, whilst there are some benefits to expecting more of yourself and having those standards, being more compassionate towards yourself actually helps you to become more resilient because you are able to go easier on yourself. You don't give yourself too much negative feedback because being the critic of yourself is hard enough. Life is hard enough without you critiquing and criticizing the things that you do wrong. Accepting things that you're not doing great is fine and then choosing to move past them. Often in life, we think we've got to be rigid towards our goals and part of that involves treating ourselves in a rigid and unfriendly manner but the result the reality is actually being flexible and being compassionate with yourself involves a degree of flexibility and helping yourself to go okay understand that didn't work so well being gentle with yourself taking that time out but recently I had a similar situation where one of my major contracts finished and I was without a client for quite some time so I had to take that time out give myself some self-compassion take time out for my mental health and I was able to get back on the ball again, go through my processes and you know, get a new client and be able to work with them and be way more effective than had I have given myself a challenging hard time all the way through and keep pushing myself beyond what my body and my mind could deal with. So you've got to realize your limitations, treat yourself as Jordan Peterson says, as somebody you're tasked with looking after. This will make a significant difference for you. Otherwise, look at your self-talk, Talk to yourself compassionately. Talk to yourself as if you're a friend who needs that support. Okay? Release your inner critic. Get away from them. They're not helping you unless they're being supportive. All right? Just some things to get you started. Um, if you'd like to learn more about this, go to changeseminars.com forward slash emotions to learn some ways to go about better managing your emotions, to become more resilient, and to release that inner critic and treat yourself with more compassion. Thanks very much. I hope that helps.